Imagine finding the long lost family you never even knew you had in your 70s. That is exactly what happened to a 77 year old Delaware County man who thought he was an only child for decades, only to learn he's one of 13 kids. And it all started with one of those online DNA tests. Can't have too much family. Ed Grunwell of Boothwin choking back tears as he talks about the family he never even knew existed, including 12 siblings. I still have six brothers and sisters left, two, two half siblings, and then the other four are my full siblings. He was adopted as an infant by Pete and Rose Grunwell of Ridley Park and lived a happy life, the couple's only son. Then in 2019, after Ed and his wife Doreen submitted DNA to Ancestry.com, results showed a possible match for a cousin. I knew all my first cousins. Then another so-called relative reaching out after seeing this picture of Ed and Doreen on Facebook taken back in 1967. And then this picture at their son's wedding. And she noticed Ed's family resemblance. It turns out his sister, Betty Jane, had been looking for him for 24 years. Ed's birth mom, Libby Weaver, and dad, Charles West, were not married. They gave him up for adoption, but he had never been told. We don't know the circumstances. My birth par parents had a hard decision to make. They did what they thought was right. Uh, my adopted family did what they thought was right. Doreen putting the final pieces of the puzzle together at a funeral in January of 2020 when she asked a family friend who'd been at Ed's christening, was he adopted? And her first response was, you mean he doesn't know? <laughs> and my response was, you mean he is? She said, oh yeah. Ed has now met his surviving siblings getting together for the first time at a sister's place in Georgia. We pulled down their street and there were 25 people standing there in her front yard, and which is just immediate family. It's just, <laughs> I'm related to everybody. <laughs> it's been a wonderful experience though, learning oh. everything about the family and they've been very welcoming and warming. Besides his brothers and sisters, Ed has, get this, 61 first cousins, and that is just on his mother's side. He has dozens of nieces and nephews, so he is now part of one very, very large family, loving it all, with an upcoming road trip planned to see a lot of them in May. Congratulations, Ed.